Hey, what's going on everyone? Neil Henderson here from Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And today I'm excited to show you an updated product that we have that covers the whole range of uh, laser engraver enclosures that we offer here at Clearview. Check it out, guys. Okay, so what we have here today is our universal laser enclosure uh, that is designed to fit a wide variety of laser engravers uh, from X-Tool to Atom Stack. Another popular one that we have is the Creality uh, Falcon 2 um, and several other ones as well. Um, we actually make this in two different sizes. We make this one our universal fit that uh, covers a lot. And then we actually have a specialized fit that is for the X tool as well. So uh, the way I wanted to show it to you today is actually without the laser inside of it um, so that we kind of aren't distracted by uh, the, the laser inside of it in and of itself. So today we just have the enclosure here so I can show you some of the kind of cool features that we've built into this. So uh, the first thing that you'll notice is that we've got this in our amber orange. We actually offer this uh, with uh, a few different panel options. Uh, you can order this in clear. You can order it with amber orange, which is uh, spectrometer tested and has an OD3 plus uh, laser rating for it. So, uh, but basically what the spectrometer shows is that it blocks uh, over 99% of the light that is produced by the laser at the 455 nanometer wavelength. Uh, the final option that we have uh, is also for a smoked gray uh, panel, um, which is not spectrometer tested, but does shine, shade out some of the light. Um, but in any matter, everyone always asks, do I still need to wear safety glasses? We're never going to tell you, no, you don't have to wear safety glasses. So still wear your safety glasses, even if you have the safe, the laser safe or laser shielding panels. Okay. So uh, some information about this enclosure. This is the version three of our uh, of our laser enclosure. So this uh, carries the uh, just kind of the latest updates that we've uh, developed, that we've um, gotten feedback from users. And so uh, I think that we've got a pretty nice setup here. So just the, the biggest, most important, the, uh, the, the thing that uh, people are going to ask is, you know, what's the overall size of this enclosure? So uh, it is uh, about 750 millimeters wide, 750 millimeters deep, and 400 millimeters tall. So that works out to be about 27 and change uh, for width and depth and about 16 inches tall. Um, and so the probably the biggest thing that we've changed from version two to version three is that we've added uh, this nice metal hardware. So we've got some metal hinges mounted inside and then on top we've got some metal hinges mounted to the outside and so that makes it so that the top just opens right up like that so you have really really nice access to your printer or to, to your laser engraver and the engraving area and then when you close it back up it's all magnetically latched and closes up really nice and pretty pretty darn easy so uh, uh, something that we've had in a slight change to this enclosure is uh, we've now added our flow control vents to the front here. So we've had this on the side and the basis, the basis is, is that we've got uh, these cutouts so that you can open and close this vent so that you can control your airflow. So depending on what uh, the way that you are engraving or cutting out your piece, you may want to have these vents completely open. You might want to have a, the side ones open or closed while the front one is open or closed. Uh, that way you kind of get something of an airflow effect so that you can dissipate the smoke out of your enclosure. And so, uh, which by the way, uh, these enclosures are all CNC cut. Uh, we've got a CNC here and we got also have a large laser here. Uh, to, for cutting our panels. And so these are precision cut. And so all of the, uh, uh, all of the seams between the panels are essentially minimum to, to mill. So that the in effort that we want to get is little 
uh, smoke leaking out of the enclosure as possible. And so compared to what else is, what else is on the market, the cheaper options, our enclosure is much more effective than the, the, the cheaper options. So um, when you order this enclosure, uh, we've built in a couple different options. So uh, the first one was the panels. The second one, we've got some accessory options as well. So uh, what comes with the enclosure stock is you get your panel set, you get all of the brackets uh, and parts that are on here. Uh, so the magnets, all of uh, the foot brackets, uh, the hinges to put this together and the hardware to, to set it up. What's also included is a uh, bracket to hook up to a four inch hose. And so this just uh, hooks right onto the side part right here. And, and we include hardware for that. Uh, your four inch hose basically just slips right on and then you, uh, it, uh, use the uh, uh, kind of clamp that comes with your four inch hose. And then also on the other side, we've also got a, 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 a exhaust port over here. And so you can, in theory, uh, hook up two exhausts to this. Um, or for this, we just have a, a patch so you can decide what side you want your exhaust to come out on. Um, <clears throat> And then, uh, so, you know, an additional note, uh, as far as feeding in wiring, as far as feeding in your uh, air, as far as feeding in camera stuff, uh, we've also got uh, a few different wire grommets on here. So you can see one there's on the back side, and here's one on the side. So basically these just open up and allow you to feed your wires through, and there's a little hole there so that you can feed your air assist through that hole. And uh, so you have a couple different uh, options to be able to feed your air assist in. Now, uh, so some additional accessories that you can add onto this enclosure. Uh, we've got also uh, a few different options for uh, exhaust fans. Uh, this one in particular right here is our 95 uh, CFM exhaust fan. It's in a nice, compact, small uh, form factor, and then that hooks up right to our side panels there as well. It had it already has that uh, that exhaust bracket built right into it, so it's really easy to set up. We also have a 200 CFM fan as well. And so in theory, you could actually have two of these set up, uh, one on each side of this enclosure. So depending on you know how much smoke your operation is making and your tolerance for any kind of smoke, um, you know, it, it could be that you're just running one. One often works just fine, but you could run two. And if you already have your own inline fan, then all you need is just the bracket. So uh, another option that we have is uh, a light burn compatible camera that uh, with this one, it comes with uh, our mountable housing here. And this one has 120 degree field of view. And so, that is, we kind of measured out and gives you the best overall view of your whole cutting area on just about all the machines that cut out in the approximate space of 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters, which is the common cutting area for this type of machine. You can see right up here, there's the mount for this camera. And so it's just a, a simple, Mount on, screw it on, and then it's plug and play. There's no drivers needed for this uh, camera in most cases, and it's very, very easy to use. And all you have to do is tell Lightburn to look for that camera, and it will set it up for you. Uh, additionally, the way that we designed this uh, particular enclosure and with the camera, if you've seen other uh, enclosures that some of these uh, laser engraver companies are coming out with. They put the camera on the door, which is uh, not a great spot for it. So then that means that when you open the door, then the camera moves. And so then if you have the door open and you're trying to line it up with your piece and light burn, then you can't. So we put the camera on this rear panel so that it stays steady, even if you have your door open and then you can line up your piece and the camera doesn't move. A huge workflow advantage there. Uh, 
Uh, and then the last thing that we uh, include as an option uh, are LED light kits. And so with these, we have uh, a piece of adhesive right on the back and you just stick it wherever, pretty much wherever you want inside of the enclosure on this particular one, right on the, uh, along the back. And then you can put one along the uh, front door here. Uh, these are really easy to set up. We make the, we actually make these in house. It's just got a, a barrel connector on there. And these come with uh, uh, a light switch, uh, some extra wiring and a splitter so that you can uh, hook that up along with uh, some extra zip ties so that you can route the wiring really nice through the enclosure and uh, you can really kind of pimp out your setup. So a few last comments that I wanted to mention. Uh, when you order this enclosure, it comes flat packed. And so you assemble this at home. Like I said, it comes with all the panels. It comes with all the bracketry. It comes with all the hardware. And so you assemble this up. Uh, assembly takes, let's call it between one hour and maybe an hour and a half. And then after you get your laser put in there and uh, you get everything adjusted, well, maybe it's a half day's worth of work. Um, we also make this in different sizes. Uh, so this is our universal size that fits a wide variety of machines. Uh, we also make an X-Tool specific one that's a little bit smaller. It hugs the X-Tool. And actually, when you pick up the enclosure, the X-Tool actually comes along with it. And so, like, say if you're doing, like, craft fairs and stuff like that, then that's a really ideal one because uh, it just kind of is portable in one solid unit. Uh, and then we actually make a wide version of this as well. So if you have an extended laser, um, then it, basically any of these companies that are making extended lasers with roughly a 800 by 400 millimeter uh, uh, workable area, then our wide uh, enclosure works uh, really well for that. I've actually got a separate video and I will post a link or just go to our YouTube channel to, to get more for that. So uh, I think we've got our, uh, you guys pretty darn well covered with a really nice enclosure for a wide variety of laser engravers. And this thing works awesome. People that do buy this really like it. It's made here in the United States. It's made by people that understand laser engraving and actually use this stuff. And I think you guys will be stoked on this. And so that is Clearview's universal and X-Tool uh, laser engraver enclosure. Uh, we've been making this enclosure for quite a while now. Um, and uh, at this point, we've sent these enclosures all over the world. We've, sent, we, we've helped uh, anywhere from hobbyists to Fortune 500 to government to schools uh, enclose their laser engravers with this enclosure. And, um, you know, what I will say is, you know, again, we make this enclosure here in Sacramento, California. We work hard to make sure that it is, that it's well thought out, uh, that, that it works well. And, um, and when you order it, you really order it, uh, you know, from us, we make it here, we ship it out of here and, uh, we're appreciative people. And so, <clears throat> When, when you do work with us, we work hard to make sure that uh, you're set up well and if you run into issues that we're available and you can reach out to us. So again, my name is Neil Henderson. I'm the owner here at Clearview Plastics. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Come visit us at clearviewplastic.com to see our enclosures. And if you have any questions, hit me up on the website. All right, thanks so much, guys. Bye.